Hello friends. Today we are going to learn a topic from guidance and counseling. Topic name is tools and techniques of guidance and counseling. Today we are going to learn very interesting technique of guidance and counseling and that technique name is sociometric technique. What is sociometric technique? Sociometry is a science to study the interrelationship of members of a group, their attitude, values, acceptance to each other and role of every individual in the group. The credit of designing and developing sociometric technique goes to J. L. Morena and Helen Jennings. The word sociometric comes from Latin word socius. Socius means partner, friend, companion and metrum means major. Sociometry is a way of measuring the degree of relatedness among people. The term sociometry refers to an area of study dealing with the actual psychological structures of human groups, communities and societies at large. Let's see definition of sociometry. According to Helen Jennings, stated briefly, sociometry may be described as means of presenting simply and graphically the entire structure of relations existing at a given time among members of a given group. The major lines of communication or the patterns of attraction and rejection in its full scope are made readily comprehensive at a glance. Purpose of sociometry technique First, measurement of relatedness. To learn the interaction and the, and the structure of a group. Assessment of behavior within groups. To major group characteristics such as cohesiveness, morale, bonding, etc. Improving communication. Who shows the pattern of how individuals associate with each other when acting as a group toward a specified end or goal. Characteristics of sociometric technique It is a social device which offers a simple and graphical representation of data about the members of the group. It enables teacher and parents to know the structure of social relationship that exists among members of the group. It states about the friendship pattern among members of the group. It gives clear picture regarding the line of attraction and rejection among the members of the group. It helps to know the leader and recognize the isolates on the basis of degree of preference made by the members of group. Its data and result is applicable for limited given time and it is not applicable for all times to come. Methods of sociometric analysis or we can say 
types of sociometric technique. Sociometric matrix, sociograms, social distancing scale, guess who technique, communigram. Sociometric matrix. A matrix is a rectangular array. We can say arrangement of numbers of other symbols. Sociometric is a square or in an X and matrix. Example. A group of six members respond to sociometric questions with whom would you like to work on such and such projects during the next three months, choose any three individuals and the responses made are choices of a member. Choose another non-choice is denoted by zero. This is the example of sociometric techniques. Observe it carefully. Next method, sociogram. It is a graphic representation of social links that a person has. It is a graph drawing that plots the structure of interpersonal relations in a group situation. It is used to analyze the choices or preferences each person makes within a group. Example or picture of sociogram. It is a graphic representation. Third method, social distance scale. This scale is developed by Bogardus. Specific statements are given regarding a social situation or person and the group is instructed to rank them. Helps to find out social interrelationship of the group. Example, I love to work with Suresh. I like to work with Suresh. I don't mind working with Suresh. I find it difficult to work with Suresh. It is impossible to work with Suresh. So these are the specific statements which are given regarding a social situation or person. Next method, guess who technique. This technique is developed by high heart shown and mark me. In this technique, members of group have to identify the persons and write his name against the characteristics provided. Example, honest person. The students or members of group can write name. Lazy person in a group. Hard working person. Cooperative person. Selfish person. Kind person. Next type or next method. Communigram. Communication skills of a person in a group can be found out and measures that is a given time. How many times does the person speak? Let's see. Uses of sociometric technique. This technique is used to ascertain the degree of interaction among the group members, either of a class or an assessed group. It gives clear picture about the acceptance of a pupil by his peer groups. 
it is useful for the parents to know about liking and disliking degree of their child in his friend circle helpful to detect leader of class or group for leadership activities and leadership training to give charge of group to leader for certain group activities it is helpful for the students those who are isolates to improve their interpersonal relationship and adjustment with other members of the group it enables teacher to classify the students into different friendship groups on the basis of the preferences and choices useful in suggesting to students to develop capacity of cooperation and work together for certain good activities limitations of sociometric technique in case of sociometric technique information provided is limited by nature of sociometric questions and the numbers of choices used the student does not reveal the why he goes to preferring or rejecting some friend of the group the sociometric data and results do not give any suggestions how to improve the interpersonal relationship in the group it has limited use so far data collection about students is concerned it disappoints the isolate sometimes which is not desirable in the context of the psychology of the isolate students in this the student today we have discussed about sociometric techniques 